Cal. I'm not sure what this is nicknamed. Maybe one of you know Colorado State and Colorado playing tonight, whether it's football or basketball. Not sure. It's in Boulder. Uh, Colorado lays four. The total is 143 and a half. There's not an official play. Kyle Hunter, I'm going to come back to you. Any thoughts on this matchup for this evening? I don't know what to make of of Colorado at this point. Um, they beat Tennessee in what was basically a road game, 78-66. Uh, they blow out Texas A&M, 103-75. They lose on a neutral to UMass. They lost uh, to a team in Washington that hasn't been very good this year. Uh, they lost at home to Arizona State. Uh, they are so back and forth. Uh, it's very hard to bet on Lost the game. at the beginning of the year to Grambling yeah, as that's well. True. Grambling, that's a good one. I, yeah. I always wondered why they were playing at Grambling, and then they lose to Grambling the next game, beat Tennessee. Uh, right. So it's it's hard to know what to make of a team that loses to Grambling and the next game beats Tennessee, especially what Grambling has done since then. Uh, Grambling went the next game and was obviously feeling pretty good about themselves and lost 81-48 yeah. to 48 to Grand Canyon. Uh, just a wild season for Colorado thus far. I think Nico Medved's a really good coach for Colorado State. He gets a lot out of his players every single year. They just lost last game to Northern Colorado at home. Uh, so maybe a little bit of a look ahead to this game. Uh, I really don't have a strong feel for this game. I, I Honestly, I think the tempo will be pretty quick. The question is, what will the shooting numbers look like? Because Colorado's shooting numbers have been way up and down. So uh, looking at that, I think it's hard to bet this game. Um, I really don't even have a lean in this one. It's just a, a fun rivalry game where uh, I think it might be more fun to watch and see what happens than, than bet on this one. Colorado State, if I'm not mistaken, they got in as one of the Mountain West at-large teams last year in the tournament. All right, uh, Matty Cox, any thoughts, if no play, on the rivalry game with Rams at the Buffs? I think the spot's great for Colorado State. They just lost their last home game, and getting Isaiah Stevens back, their stud, uh, really the engine of that team. Uh, this will be his third game back in the lineup, so you get him basically at full strength. A little bit of extra juice coming off the loss, plus the rivalry um, dynamic, plus the fact that the elevation that Colorado um, uses as part of its home court, not as, as critical with another team who already plays in altitude coming from not that far away. And I think the better coach team is Nico Medved, as Kyle alluded to. So to me, a lot sets up for the Rams. I, I tried to take some at six at five. I think four is too, too low. Um, I would not be in a hurry to pounce in now, especially given how poorly this team's defended at times this season. Um, but if the line comes back up to five or six, I think you got to hop in on the Rams. There's a lot of chatter in the live chat. I know you guys are sometimes answering on the keyboard, et cetera, about this line movement and about sharp money coming in on Colorado State. So no official play here on the matchup tonight in that rivalry game uh, with Colorado hosting the Colorado State Rams. 